Hello friends, welcome to our channel Global Health Helpline. Now we will learn about the second part of Orometallicum from the book, Lectures on Homeopathic Materia Medica by James Tyler Kent. It is including the points, bones and articulations, pains, veins, glands, head, eyes and iritis. Let's begin. <music> Bones and articulations. The remedy is full of rheumatic affections, not unlike such as are found in old mercurial cases. Rheumatic affections with swelling of the joints, affections of the cartilages and bone, inflammation of the periosteum, thickening and induration of the periosteum, indurations of glands, induration of the cartilages about the joints. These are all of syphilitic and mercurial character. It is useful in old syphilitics when the bones are breaking down in any part of the body. The shin bones, nose bones, ear bones, any of the small bones. Pains, like syphilis and mercury. The complaints are aggravated at night, coming on in the evening and keep up all night. The pains are violent, they tear, the bones ache as if they would break. Not in acute fevers but in old syphilitic bone troubles. Knife. Like pains in the periosteum. Pains in the joints rendering them immovable. Inflammation of the bone itself it carries. It is not strange that the vascular coating of the bones, the periosteum, should be greatly affected because there is a strange vascularity all over the economy in this medicine. Veins. The veins are enlarged in a state of congestion and inflammation. And friable the veins become thickened and tumfied. The blood vessels pulsate all over the body. Erythism or vascular fullness characterizes nearly all complaints. Fullness of the veins of the extremities. This goes on until swelling appears with weakness so that dropsy is prevalent throughout the remed. Why? Edema of the extremities. With pitting upon pressure. Which occurs in heart and liver affections. A false state of plethora seems to exist in the body and finally turmoil and excitement occurs. Violent orgasms in the body, sometimes demonstrated as violent heat, coming in flushes with excitement, fidgetiness, feeling as if something dreadful were going to happen throughout the economy, then it settles into a state of quiescence for a while and then this repeats itself. These violent orgasms come preparatory to the localization or establishment of some breakdown in T. He economy. At times it is a cardiac affection, with marked oppression behind the sternum with dyspnea on walking fast for going upstairs. Endocarditis will have this turmoil in the body. By and by, look for albumin in the urine. Look for enlargement of the liver. Look for signs of cancer of the uterus. And deep, seated affections. Boring in bones, pains drive to despair. The pains drive the patient out of bed at night and make him walk. This is seen in old syphilitic bone pains and old mercurialized patients. The patient has been taking mercury all his life and his liver is enlarged and his joints are enlarged. He goes to every doctor with an endeavor to get relief from his distressing sufferings. Mercury and disease are so mixed up that a great turmoil will result from your first prescripti. On, he will go through these stages of violence and periodical attacks. You will have to know such M. Edsons as Orum. Chelidoni human staff is to get this patient over these awful attacks which he is obliged to go through. Glands. This medicine wonderfully affects the glands, the parotid glands, the glands about the groin, the lymphatics in the abdomen. In fact, the glands everywhere, the mammary glands, the testes and ovaries, are involved and undergo states of hardness, infiltration, etc. Aurum cures chronic enlargement of the testes and lumps in the mammary glands. Tumors in these glands, of cystic character, have been cured by Aurum. Hahnemann potentized Aurum and gave some of it to a patient, and it did not work. But he thoroughly triturated it until he got it to the 15th potency and then it worked and Ray stood that patient to the bosom of his family. Hahnemann says that in the earlier triturations the dose was yet too large to cure. So he went higher until it was sufficiently small to cure, sufficiently attenuated to go into the interior of the economy through the various envelopes of Ma, 
N. There is one grand feature running through the Aurum state. It is the manner in which he is affected by temperature and by the weather. Here are some symptoms that relate to the whole man, which must be examined in this connection. Desire for open air. This patient ranks along with pulsatilla as to temperature, but Aurum is not mild, gentle and yielding. He is obstinate, irascible, the very opposite of the pulsatilla patient, generally relieved by growing warm. This is in connection with the headaches, cold water ameliorates pain in eyes, averse to uncover, but he desires open air like pulsatilla, warm air, asthma, aggravate. Many symptoms disappear after washing, especially cold washing, but whenever the patient is suffering from great excitement, turmoil and vascularity, constitutional orgasm, pulsations, he wants the doors and windows open, wants to get out in the cool air, wants the clothing thrown off, the state of excitement and pulsation is ameliorated by the open air, it has those flushes of heat so, common to women at the critical period, and these are followed by sweat, sometimes by chilliness. Most that we have said of the remedy is about its general aspect, for everything about the mind is general. Head. In Aurum the pain in the head is very intense, maddening, often accompanied by a sensation as if air were blowing upon him. He looks around to see where the draft comes from when there is none, extremely sensitive. Often has to have the head wrapped up, although it feels hot, with a good deal of congestion and rush of blood to the head. The head is sore and feels bruised, titching, burning, tearing pains in the head, much throbbing in the head. The face is bloated, flushed and shiny with the congestive headaches. These headaches are often found in syphilitic subjects, often associated with cardiac disease, pain in the back of the head associated with cardiac disease, with sluggish circulation, purple face, duskiness of the skin, exostosis as in syphilis, the skull bones are sensitive to touch, the periosteum is tender to touch. In old mercurialized cases with bone affections and necrosis of the skull, as in syphilis and mercury, the hair falls out copiously, the head becomes bald, baldness due to syphilis, the scalp is left shiny and the hair will not grow in again. In acute diseases there is falling out of the hair, but it grows in again, but young syphilitics often lose the hair and remain bald all the rest of their life. Eyes there are disturbances of the eye, of a catal character, even to the extent of ulceration and infiltration of the various coatings of the eye. Iritis, great disturbance of the whole visual apparatus. Some of the striking features I will read from the book, but remember the constitution that we must always have in view. Remember the mental state, the mercurial and syphilitic states, the gouty tendency, and the complaints that belong to joints. Remember the cardiac disturbances, as we review the eye symptoms we thus see the constitution with which they are likely to be associated, photophobia weak sight and eyes, by gaslight a number of bright, floating specks and dots are seen, eyes ameliorated by moonlight, large letters cannot be distinguished, yellow, crescent, shaped bodies floating obliquely upward in field of vision. In upper dark section of field of vision occasional showers of bright, star-like bodies, in calcary here is a queer symptom, he sees a sudden flash arise from the lower portion of the field of vision, it shoots up and divides, and then he sees stars in every direction, it is the appearance you will see sometimes in the shooting off of one of those rockets that explode and come down in a shower, that has been observed in calcaria hemiopia of the left eye, and so it goes on with many of these peculiar things that can hardly be described except in the language of the text, protruding eyes, protrusion of the eyes, such as occurs in exophthalmic goiter, with enlargement of the heart, has been cured by aurum, enlargement of the thyroid gland with rapid and full pulse, exophthalmic goiter has been cured by aurum, natrum mode, tarting, dreary look, I write is marked by much pain around eye, which seems to be deep in bone, which a state would be likely to be produced by syphilis that had been treated with mercury and a, urum would come in as an antidote to both the syphilis and the mercury, pupils irregularly dilate, 
D. It has kata or states of the eye. It has inflammation of the conjunctiva, choroid, iris and retina. Well, syphilis does this, taking hold of the eye in just this way and causing great infiltration. Pains round about the eye, the thin plate bones, and the skull bones are all sensitive to pressure. The bones seem tender, periostitis, opacity of the cornea. For more updates, subscribe to our channel.